Well, hello there, friends. An old classic again today. I love making the old classics. Poulet chasseur, hunter chicken, a delicious braised chicken with garlic and mushrooms and a little cognac. Really an easy, super easy recipe for a family dinner. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to ring that bell. Stay tuned, friends. Poulet chasseur, hunter chicken, coming up right now. Okay, friends, well, <laughs> let me show you. You know, this is one of the oldest uh, recipe of French cuisine. I don't know what it comes back to. Uh, I was trying to look at the French encyclopedia. I couldn't even find a date on it, but it's an old, old, old recipe. And, um, and it's got mushroom, but it is the easiest, easiest uh, uh, braised chicken recipe you're ever going to do, I promise you. There's nothing to it. It's so simple. Uh, we'll go over the ingredient and look. But look, at, check this out, friends. My neighbor Gary just uh, uh, raises those mushrooms or grows them, and, uh, and those are chestnut mushrooms, and, uh, and uh, they're delicious, so I'm going to use them. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to cut them. I'm going to go uh, mushroom hunting, <laughs> and, uh, and I cut them, and I'm going to fill up my bowl, the big one. Look, they're gorgeous. Now, it tells me we can eat the stems. I don't really care for stems, so I'm probably going to remove some of them, uh, but because he says so, I'm going to try them. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to slice them and, uh, and fill them up. And if you, of course, you may not have chestnut mushroom. <laughs> Who's got chestnut mushroom? Not that many people. You use regular mushroom, okay? Or use chanterelle mushroom or use whatever mushroom you want. All right? So I'm going to do all this, get them ready, and then I'll come back and then we'll do the chicken, okay? Okay, friends, I got all the mushroom ready to go. And uh, uh, slice, yeah, slice the big one, and I kept the little one like that. We'll put them at a garnish at the end. You see, it's nice. So in the chicken, friends, it's just a chicken cut up in uh, uh, eight pieces. And what I did is um, I got the, uh, um, the, uh, the leg and the thighs, and I took the skin off because I'm going to create a skin. This is an old-fashioned chicken dish, and we got to make it the old-fashioned way. The old-fashioned way is they used to put a lot of flour on things. So we're going to do it that way, okay? Because that's just the way it was done. And if I'm going to do this dish, I want to do it traditional. So I got the breast. I took the bones of the breast because I don't really like eating it with the breast on it. This is the thighs, and this is the leg. And um, now what's going to happen with the breast, friends, we're not going to put it at the same time. Because, the oh, salt and pepper in the flour, eh? Salt and pepper in the flour, and, um, and um, yeah, we're not going to put the breast at the same time because the breast is going to take less time to cook, my friends, than the thighs and, uh, and the leg, especially with the bones on it. So it's going to take a little bit longer, and, and that's okay because they need to cook longer. They really do need to cook longer. The, uh, the dark meat needs to cook longer. And make sure I got, I got clarified butter here, my friends. Clarified butter, right? So I'm going to take this, and I'm going to sear them, the breast until they're beautiful golden browns. You see the breast right there? But they're all going to cook at the same time. We're going to get the leg and the thighs a good 10 minute head start. 10, 15 minute head start. And then we'll put the, we'll put the breast in there. You see, friends? And, um, and this is all we're going to do. There's a whole chicken right there. See? The whole chicken. And the flour is really seasoned carefully. And it fits perfectly in my big fry pan. You see? So now, can we do this in the same pot? Of course you can do it in the same pot, friends. The problem is, then everybody forgets to tell you, when you do it in the same pan, my friends, let me take the flour out of there. When you do it in the same pan, there's a good chance for that flour to burn down there. I use clarified butter because if I use regular butter, it'll burn by now. You know, regular butter burns because it has milk protein and the clarified butter will remove the milk so it doesn't burn. If you don't have clarified butter, a lot of people don't do it. You should actually do it. There's a video online for us to do it, for you to do it. It's wonderful. Uh, if you don't have it, use a good cooking oil, my friends. Okay, like a, a grapeseed oil, a, a avocado oil, vegetable oil, whatever oil you want. Uh, but it's really important that you do these ways, okay? So what we're going to do, we're going to probably take a few minutes because this is going to take a little time. So what we're going to do now, we're going to get in there. This is the pot we're going to cook everything in, okay? So I got it going. Oh, I'm taking the wrong button. I'm going to put it right in there. 
And what I'm going to do in here, I'm going to prepare a, a, a little wine reduction. Very simple, right? Eh? So I got some shallots, uh, mint small. You can use onion if you don't have shallots, okay? But shallots, uh, for this recipe, they really are traditional. This is what you should use if you got them. If you don't have them, then you can't use them. <laughs> you don't have them. The people say, oh, I don't have them. Can I make the recipe? No, don't worry about it. Make the recipe with onion, okay? That's what they are anyway. They're in onion. And we got garlic, chopped garlic right here. And I got little carrots. I made those little cool, little fancy carrots. I tried to do this. There's a video right there, and you should check it. That's the video where we cut all the vegetables. I'll show you how to do it in that video, my friends. You'll see. It's pretty cool. Why not? You know, it takes only two seconds to do it. It looks really cool. So why not make things look pretty? So look, I got my shallots in there. I'm going to sweat them in butter. <laughs> shallots sweating in butter. <laughs> They're in heaven. Anything cooked in butter, you know it's going to be good, right? I don't care what it is. It's going to be good. You can see in butter. All right? Oh, yeah. Jack was telling me he's on a diet where he can't use butter. Change diet. Not a good diet, I'm telling you. I, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> I told you, my doctor said, hey, you got to cut out the butter and the sweet. I changed doctor. All right? <laughs> They got to find another way. Just do it. Okay. Oh, mamma mia. Look, it's starting to look good, my friend. You see? See, look, it's starting to look good. All right, we're going to give it a beautiful... No, no. Oh, mamma mia. We're getting ready. The shallots. We don't want to burn them. We'll put a little garlic in here, friends. A good tablespoon of chopped garlic, okay? A good one, eh? We'll put the carrots in there. They're going to take forever to cook, right? We're going to put a little fresh thyme. Fresh thyme. And then we're going to put a little wine... I use the Chardonnay, okay? Use whatever one you want. We're gonna make a little reduction. This is so simple to make, friends. I'm telling you. This recipe, friends, you're not gonna believe it, as simple as it is. Uh, this is really a child work. A child work. A child could do this. I'm telling you, friends, this is not complicated. Wow, we're getting hot in here. I wanna give him some nice color. Because really, you know, friends, this is the only opportunity we got to give it some colors now because the minute you put it in liquid you're done you can't give it in more liquid an herb then is very traditional to put for this dish it's tarragon tarragon is delicious it's um uh, i forgot what it is in french but oh, can't believe i'm forgetting my french estragon estragon tarragon estragon yeah 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 you want to put oh it smells the minute you put it in you know you're putting tarragon in there french Estragon. Estragon. You know, it's what it is when you forget, uh, you, know, you don't speak a language for 50 years. You forget, it's not like bicycle riding, okay? You don't ride a bike for 50 years. <laughs> you get back on there, boom, you're riding your bike. No problem. Language? You don't speak it? Forget it. You, you'll definitely forget it, my friend. All right, look. We're looking good. I think I'm done. The rest of it, I'm going to save it for later for my garnish. Okay. I'm going to put that chicken in there. Oh, not the breast. Jump here. Save the breast. We're going to save it. We're going to put them later. We're going to give everything else a head start. And the breast, we're going to put in later. Okay. So we put the thighs, the legs. You see, look, you can keep it in the same pot. See, it's not that burn. Okay. But. You could do it in the same pot, okay? But it's up to you, all right? Now what I'm going to do now, friends. All right, now, oh, we'll remove it from the camera. You know what I'm going to do? Hold on. I don't want to get everything messed up, so I'm going to go back over here. Holy mama mia. And I'm going to go right there. How's that, Jack? Is that good? Perfect. All right? So this is what we're going to do now. We're going to put some stock. We've got to submerge all this in liquid, my friends. So like I say, you can do it in the same pan, Or you can do it in another pot. It's really up to you uh, what you want to do. You can do it. Just make sure your pan is not burned. Now, you see, look, look, look how beautiful my stock is. All right? So you're going to say, well, I don't have a stock like that. Well, I made a video on it when I show you how to do it, but you don't want to go through this trouble? I don't blame you. Take a good chicken stock, chicken broth, whatever you got, and put some tomato paste in it or tomato puree in here. And you'll see, you got to give it some body. 
some consistency. All right, and this is what I got. This got consistency in there, my friends. All right, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna braise all this, right? We're gonna braise it for about 10, 15 minutes, okay? And after this, we're gonna put the breast and we're gonna continue cooking it, a total cooking time because it's a big chicken, probably gonna take about 45 minutes, all right? So we'll be back when this is cooked for 45 minutes. I put the breast in there and I'm gonna put this in 10, 15 minutes and then we'll come back when it's all done and we'll do the finishing, we'll do the garnish together, okay? So I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, friends. Well, it cooked a little bit faster than I thought, right? It took about 35 minutes. So uh, now that it's ready, we're gonna do the garnishing, and the garnishing is gonna be with the mushrooms. So we're gonna saute them with the shallots, and a little garlic, and a little fresh thyme. If you could be here right now, the smell, my friends, and it's coming out of this pot, is mostly tarragon. The tarragon is super, super important for this recipe. I'm telling you if, you, if you can't find fresh tarragon, which I know it's not easy to find, estragon, tarragon, whatever you want to call it, uh, uh, get some dry one, okay? It's not going to be the same, but uh, so as you can see, the mushroom, I cut some of it, and, uh, and I, I have too many here. I don't need all this, so I'm just going to put just a, a little bit of it, and, um, and then I'm going to put a little bit of the small one that I left together. I left whole the small one. I'm just going to cook him for a second. The smell that is coming out of this pot, friends, is amazing. It really, really, really is amazing. So we've got to get rid of the, uh, the water out of those mushrooms. But they're super, super fresh. So it's going to be a little different to handle the, those mushrooms than we handle the mushroom by the grocery store. First of all, they smell amazing uh, by themselves. So we got the shallots in there, and then we're going to put some fresh thyme. And, uh, and, and the, ta the, the tarragon in there is amazing. We're gonna cook them for a minute. In this dish, French, we're gonna put a little bit of cognac. Just a little bit of cognac at the end. I put it at the end, because if I'm gonna put cognac, I don't want it to flambe it. <laughs> I don't want to get rid of the, uh, the, uh, uh, the alcohol. <laughs> Otherwise, what's the sense of putting it in there? <laughs> right? A little salt here will help us with the mushroom. To saute them really good. A little bit of a, a pepper. Actually, I'm going to use the uh, the coarse black pepper in here. You see? And that's it. Very simple. We're going to saute them until they're wonderful. And then we're going to finish the dish by putting a little butter. Right in there, my friends. I'll put just a little bit of butter in there, okay? And um, and this is a dish you serve with, uh, with potatoes. Uh, a uh, little nouvelle potato sauteed in garlic. Or you could uh, uh, so do them with vegetables and, uh, and, and, and mashed potatoes. A lot of French people would serve it with a nice mashed potatoes. It's really up to you what it is you want to do. But the mushrooms is really, really important, my friends. Then we do this. All right, really, really important. Toward the end, I'm going to put a little bit of garlic to give them a really great deal of flavor. And I'm going to put a little more cognac in the mushroom. Just a little bit, all right? So I'm gonna wait a couple of seconds for those to cook, and then I'm gonna do the platters, okay? So we'll be back in a minute until those guys are cooked. They're almost there. Okay, we're gonna put just a little garlic toward the end. We don't need to put it too early, otherwise it burns, eh? Just a little bit. We're gonna turn the heat off, and we're gonna put just a little cognac off the heat. Now, be careful when you put the alcohol, friends, because this fumes is what catches on fire, okay? So we have the fire, we're good. All I'm gonna do basically is my platter right there. I'll make, make myself a nice platter. And I'm gonna decorate it. So, we're gonna put it right in there. And this is simple. But I promise you, friend, this is this will be one of the best chicken dishes you've ever made. And it's so simple. It really, 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 you saw what I did. Anybody can do this. You tried. I promise you, friends. You won't be sorry. I promise you. I got enough on this platter. I certainly could put a little bit more, but I'm not going to push it. I'm going to put a little sauce on there.
beautiful sauce. Let me turn this heat off. I don't need any more of the sauces. Okay, very simple. This is a family style, beautiful dish to prepare for the family friends. All right, and we're gonna finish it up with a, with a, with a garnish of mushrooms. We're gonna clean the dish so it's nice and clean, right? And I'm doing this and I'm messing it up even more. <laughs> All right, and then we're gonna put, finish it up with a, with a mushroom on top. You see? And right there, all of a sudden, you have a, such a simple and delicious and elegant serving chicken chasseur, poulet hunter chicken, poulet chasseur in French. All right? And here we have, look how beautiful that is, my friend. You see the dish? All of a sudden, became beautiful. And it was very simple to make. And it smells amazing, I promise you, friends. It smells amazing. Put the mushroom upside down. But this one doesn't want to stay, so it's not going to stay. Then we got some uh, parsley that we're going to put on top. And we're looking great. Maybe not so much. I put just a little too much. I always try to put a little too much. And I'm going to go with a fork and a knife, and I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it because uh, <laughs> this is going to be delicious. There we go, my friend. I'm going to go right in there. And... Uh, and it's gonna be delicious. Mm, look how beautiful it is. Mm. Oh, my friend, amazing, you know? I just realized it. I'm testing and I'm going, where's my butter? <laughs> I forgot to put the butter at the end. Don't forget to add a little bit of butter at the end. It makes a nice more creamy. I can't believe I forgot it. Testing it, I knew I did something wrong. Friends, remember, thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. Thanks for watching. Those mushrooms are delicious. I'm telling you, we should get more of those. Not really, huh? Mmm. We got a nice texture to it, it's delicious. Mm. Okay, we're ready. Let's eat.